Hi students, let us discuss the next topic that is memory cells, SRAM and DRAM cells. So SRAM is nothing but a static RAM and this is the dynamic RAM. So what is a RAM? So everyone will know that RAM is a volatile memory. It is a volatile memory. So what is this volatile memory? Means it does not retain data when the electric pass power is turned off okay or if fail so if you turn you turn off your computer all memory stored in the ram is lost so whatever the files that you open and you are doing the work so that complete uh, files information will be stored in the ram so suddenly if the power is off or if you close the data files the data that is present in the ram will be lost okay means it's removed so that's why we call it as a volatile memory it is not a uh, permanent memory whenever we switch off the computer all the data that is present in the ram will be lost so whenever your computer is turned on again suppose if you turn on again turn on again so the BIOS means the basic input output system. The BIOS reads your operating system, reads your operating system and related files from the hard disk and load them back into RAM. So whenever your system is on, first what it does, the BIOS reads your operating system and loads the related files from hard disk back into RAM okay so this is a RAM a RAM is a volatile memory so whenever you turn switch off the computer all the data that is present in the RAM is lost so whenever you turn on again First, the BIOS reads your operating system uh, and loads the related files from hard disk and plays them again into RAM. Okay. So, let us see the block diagram of this RAM. Block diagram of RAM. Okay. So, this is a chip. The RAM chip will be like this here. The size of this RAM chip will be 2K by and memory will be there here address data chip selection and write okay so the pins that are connected to the ram devices address bus data bus chip selection and write so the output will be this is the out pin so connected to the cpu okay so this is the block diagram of ram so let us see the functional table of this ram this is a chip selection right so when we are able to write the data memory operation so based on this uh, two pins selection the chip selection and the write the memory operation will perform if the chip selection is zero memory write don't care then memory uh, no operation will done in memory okay so whenever it is one zero so it's nothing but read read selected word so one particular selected word will be read whenever the chip selection is one and the write is zero so Whenever it is 1-1, one, one. if it is 1-1, one, one, it's nothing but it is doing the right, right selected word. Okay, so this is the block diagram of RAM. So let us see how the address will be allocated uh, in the RAM, how it will be, uh, how much memory will be stored in the RAM. Suppose the memory size will be I said this is 2 power k by n means here n is nothing but n bit word 
so the bits may be it is 8 bit or 16 bit or 32 bit whatever it may be so the bit length and this is the memory size so suppose for example 2 power 24 into 16 your ram size okay so if your ram size is 2 power 24 into 16 so it contains it means it contains 2 power 24 that is the 16 megabytes of words that are present that can store in ram and each word length is 16 bit long so the meaning of 2 power 24 means 2 power 24 is nothing but 16 mega words will be there so here each word length will be 16 bit long okay so now the ram would need 24 address lines okay the meaning of this is here the ram would need 24 address lines and total storage capacity is 2 power 24 by 16 that is 2 power 28 bits as a capacity of the total storage capacity of the RAM okay so this is about the memories uh, representation in the RAM sets so this is the RAM cell memory uh, so in the RAM sorry in the random access memory chip your uh, memory will be allotted like 2 power k into n memory locations so this is the representation of your memory okay so let us see uh, different types of uh, rams will be there so those are the sram and dram So let us see what are the different types of RAMs. So those are the SRAM and DRAM. So let us see the difference between these two SRAM and DRAM. SRAM is nothing but it is static RAM and the dynamic RAM. Okay. So SRAM is a type of semiconductor memory is used to store each bit. So, it is you call it as a uh, one type of semiconductor memory. It is a semiconductor memory. Here, uh, we used uh, memory to store each bit. Each bit will be stored in. Each bit will store in the SRAM. So, it does not need refreshing circuit. SRAM does not need refreshing circuit so static ram need not any refreshing circuit will need so it retains contents as long as the power applied to chip so the data will be present in the chip as long as the power is applied so retains content as long as power applied so as long as power applied it retains content in the chip so whenever the power is off the data in the tra SRAM will be lost here the access time is around 10 nanoseconds so it the access time is 10 nanoseconds and it is used for cache memory and also for date and time setting as powered by small battery okay so it is used for this static RAM will be used for cache memories okay and also for date and time settings so which the date and time settings will hold uh, uh, having the small batteries will be there so for those batteries you are uh, allocated to the SRAM so SRAM will be used for the cache memories and for date and time settings okay so this is about the SRAMs so let us see what is a DRAM so DRAM is nothing but it's a dynamic RAM the basic storage device this is one of the basic storage device here is not a flip-flop but a MOS and a capa capacitor will be there in the DRAM you have uh, 
you are having a MOS and a capacitor will be there for basic storage. So for basic storage it requires a MOS and a capacitor. Here the charge determines the stored bit will be like 0 and 1. The data stored as a charge not remain infinitely due to leakage. So currently therefore the periodic refresh cycle is required to maintain stored data. So this DRAM will require a refreshing circuit will be there you required. So here SRAM doesn't require any refreshing circuit. So it automatically it will be a refresh whenever the data will be uh, accessing. So whenever the accessing at the time it automatically refresh okay suppose if you open the word files or powerpoint files whatever you are working on that if your system is having the static ram it automatically refreshing uh, your files means it automatically saving your files without uh, uh, to avoid the loss of data so whereas in uh, dram here the data storage as a charge not remain infinitely due to leakage current. So therefore the periodic refreshing cycle is required to maintain stored data. So to, to overcome the disadvantage of DRAM we are going for the SRAM, static RAM. Okay. So this is the difference between this SRAM and the DRAM. Thank you.